Three O'Clock High is one of those movies I saw in the 80s and loved. I thought it was amazingly fun and I watched it a couple of times throughout the 90s but it's been a good few years since I watched it and you always go back into these movies with a little sense of trepidation. You're never quite sure if they're going to live up to that warped memory you have. But I'm glad to say that Three O'Clock High certainly did live up to that fun memory that I had. The story is all about Jerry Mitchell, a kind of nerdy uh, do-gooder who loves his kind of little world that he's in. He does well at school, he's a, a good student, he uh, looks after his sister or she kind of looks after him, he has friends, he works in the school newspaper and in this uh, uh, little shop within the school itself and everything for him is just going along great. He's just living his life, he has no really ups or downs, nothing really breaks the status quo with the exception of this day, with the incursion of a new student. Buddy Ravel has arrived at the school with a formidable reputation. He is a bad boy in the making. He has all these rumours and tales and you get all this through a fun introduction to the start of the school day as it kind of jumps from student to student as they tell a story. It will jump to another student as they continue it telling someone else to another tale and it kind of weaves all through the different cliques within the school meeting different people who are going to participate in the movie later on and just sets up the myth of Buddy. And this is one of those movies that's just set within a school day. We meet all the characters, we meet uh, Jerry and Buddy, we get the scenario where Jerry insults him at one point and Buddy decides that they're having a fight as in when the school ends and we have this high pressure situation as Jerry constantly tries to get out of this situation, getting himself more and more worked up, starting to break his own moral code, starting to do things that he would never do to try and get out of this fight, to become the person that he's going to become. This is one of those life defining events for Jerry that's going to shape the rest of his future. He just doesn't quite realise it at the start of the movie. And the way that the movie is shot and the way that it moves and the pace of it is tremendous. It's a fairly quick movie. There's not really any lag in it whatsoever. I love the story and the threat of Buddy, who is really one of these larger than life characters. He looks hulking. He looks like a 30 year old man in a high school of tiny kids and his viciousness knows no bounds. He's obviously intelligent as well as we see throughout the movie and he just has this way about him that becomes like, like a tiger almost playing with his prey before he attacks and devours poor Jerry. I and mean, we get to see him, Jerry, really start to break his own rules like I said and he starts to do things that's out of character but starts to get put under a pressure that, that makes him become that person that he's going to be. I love the kind of side characters as well. We get his younger sister who seems to be a voice of reason in Jerry's world. We get his friend who seems to have a little bit of an infatuation with him. We get some incredibly funny moments as well that border, that border on that little cringy mark but never quite fall into that cringe moment which is great. There's a particular moment where he's trying to get detention. He's trying to be uh, the bad kid and do things a little bit differently and it goes wonderfully wrong as we see. We have friends trying to help Jerry that continually make the situation worse for him, uh, which he does himself several times as well. He starts to run afoul of uh, the teachers in the school as he suddenly turns from good uh, student into one that's a little bit wayward. It's it's a wonderfully structured, directed story with great performances. It's one of those movies from the 80s that should be lauded because it still holds up today but nobody really talks about it. I'm going to watch Three O'Clock High again. I'm going to watch it several times again. It's terrifically fun. Just a nice tight 90 minute movie that has the weight of the world on this main character as his life is shaken up by the inclusion of this Terminator-like school child that joins this class. Incredibly fun.
if you haven't seen Three O'Clock High, you are in for a wonderful movie that I cannot recommend highly enough. Absolutely loved revisiting this one. Kind of glad about that. I love it when a movie lives up to my memory. So there we have it. Have you seen Three O'Clock High? Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on the movie. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.